DNA is hardwired to protect us from the environment. One of the tri triggers is our DNA um, needs to be able to protect itself better against the environment because our environment ages us. Welcome back to Be Optimal. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of DNA, why it's crucial for our health and how our environment can impact it in ways you might not expect. If you're passionate about understanding the building blocks of life and how to protect them, stay tuned. Why DNA is important. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the blueprint of life. It's found in almost every cell of our body and contains the instructions needed for our development, functioning, growth, and reproduction. Think of DNA as the ultimate recipe book, where each gene is a specific recipe guiding the cell on how to function. These instructions are used to produce proteins, which are essential for virtually every process in our body, from building tissues and muscles to fighting off infections. In short, DNA is the foundation that keeps us alive and healthy. Let me tell you, um, all, you know, so DNA, uh, every one of our human cells, we've got 40 trillion cells in our human body. They're really small. You can't see them with the naked eye. You need to see them under the microscope. What most people don't realize is that DNA is, if you were to have a really, really fine needle and you go under the microscope and open up a cell, human cell, and pull out all the DNA, there'd be a six foot strand of DNA that you could pull out. All right. That's two yards worth of DNA. Okay. Like how on earth could that fit into the cell? And it's, it's all made of DNA, which is our genetic code. But do you know that only 3% of that six foot in length is actually used for making proteins, which is what our genetic code normally does. So most of the other part of our DNA is air traffic control and protection. So DNA is hardwired to protect us from the environment. And I think this is what's really, and this is how it relates to, to aging, all right? So when we're born, uh, when we're forming in our mom's womb, everything, you know, we hope is picture perfect. When we come out, immediately we start aging. So people say, well, you know, like I'm 60 or I'm 70 and I'm aging. Hey man, you're aging like when you are one minute old. The clock is ticking the moment you like take your first, you, when you get spanked, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're starting to age. You take your first breath. All right. So what happens is that our cells all are in this program. Um, and that program actually will um, think about the Mission Impossible fuse. Light the fuse, it burns down. Okay. When you burn that fuse all the way down to the bottom, like pretty much you've expended the life of the cell and the cell needs to actually replace itself. And over our time, 60, 70, 80, 90 years, okay, um, we pretty much run out of, of, of our materials to actually keep renewing ourselves. And we our, and as our cells age, net net, we also age as well. That's why, you know, a kid looks at themselves in a mirror and basically just sees the same image, same youthful, chubby image, you know, like, you know, with the cheeks and everything else. When you're, when you're like in your teenage and your adolescence and, you know, your 20s, you're cut and buff, you want to look as well as you can, as good as you can. As you get older, you start noticing those lines and wrinkles and the gray hairs and the things that are like, hey, man, that that's not me. Well, actually, what what you're seeing in the mirror is the reflection of your cells wearing down. How DNA can be damaged by the environment. But here's the catch. Our DNA is not invincible. Environmental factors can cause damage to our DNA, leading to mutations and potentially serious health issues, for instance. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun can cause thymine bases and DNA to bond incorrectly, forming thymine dimers. This can disrupt the DNA structure and lead to skin cancers like melanoma. Air pollution and cigarette smoke are loaded with harmful chemicals that can enter our bodies and damage our DNA. Chemicals like benzene and formaldehyde can cause mutations that disrupt normal cell functions, potentially leading to cancer and other diseases. Even our diet can play a role. Consuming processed foods high in additives and preservatives can introduce harmful substances into our body, which can interact with our DNA in negative ways. Now, there's a lot of work about longevity of like, how do we slow down the aging process? Some people want to reverse the aging process. What I would tell you is that one of the tri triggers is our DNA um, needs to be able to protect itself better against the environment because our environment ages us. So what am I talking about? We all know somebody who spent, you know, their uh, their uh, adolescence and young adult life lying out uh, in, on the beach, and then when they're in their forties, man, they are they're they're like leather, right? And they they look like their skin's pretty rough. That's aged skin, sun aging of skin. Okay, 
Now, that's what we see in the extreme, but I can tell you the same thing is happening when you're stuck in traffic in Los Angeles on the I-10 and on a sunny day, and the sun is coming in on the windshield or your, or your arms out the window, you're still getting that damage. So how come we don't turn into leather every single time we get stuck in traffic or walk or go out for a run? It's because our DNA knows how to fix itself and reverse that damage that's occurring. We got our DNA actually um, uh, experiences a problem about 10,000 times a day. And if we didn't fix ourselves, we'd be aging a lot faster uh, uh, than, than we already do. And so one of the tricks to slowing down aging is to help our support our DNA's ability to fix itself from the environment. And so this is the ability for DNA to, to block the incoming missiles from the environment, uh, ultraviolet radiation from the sky, radon from the ground, off-gassing from your carpet, from your, you know, that new car smell, all fumes coming in, smelling that gasoline at the pump, which is now rising in cost, right? Because everything is going on in the world. All that stuff actually damages our DNA. Thank goodness our health defenses, our DNA is one of our health defenses, can fix itself to prevent that problem. Now, uh, if there's if there's damage in the DNA, a pothole, so one is to prevent the potholes. If there's a damage, if there's a pothole, the DNA can actually fill it as quickly as the damage occurred. And that's where foods can also be coming in helpful to help our um, DNA fix itself. Uh, there was a study that she looked at kiwi, the fruit we just talked about, and they wanted to know, like, if you had just one kiwi a day, would it help? How much would it help protect your DNA against incoming? And they actually found that one kiwi a day, see, give somebody a kiwi to eat a day, take their blood out, expose it to environmental damage like ultraviolet radiation or some other kind of toxic, noxious exposure, and one kiwi a day will protect your cells with but the DNA by 60%. So it's like putting up a 60% shield, one kiwi, all right? Um, vitamin C, other bioactives in the kiwi all help our DNA to do it. Now, if you ate three kiwis though, now not only are you shielding yourself against that damage, now the DNA is, is, is uh, inspired, geared, triggered to fix itself. You can fix holes 60% faster. So one, you can actually raise a shield. The second, you can actually put the construction crew to start to pave the road, repave those potholes as well. And there's a third thing that's really important for um, aging to prevent cellular aging, right? So you want to prevent the damage, you want to fix the damage, and now you want to slow that fuse down. So that, that Mission Impossible fuse, when the mission is over, man, that cell's done. It's old and it needs to be replaced. So to, you can actually slow down the burning of that fuse, which is really amazing. So that's slowing cellular aging, and if you multiply that by 40 trillion. Now you're slowing your entire body's aging, and foods can actually do that too. One of my favorites is actually what I got right here. Coffee will actually help you do that. It'll slow down the burn rate of your DNA. Understanding the importance of DNA and how it can be damaged by our environment empowers us to make healthier choices. By protecting our DNA, we're not just taking care of ourselves, but also our future generations protecting our DNA. We can take steps to protect our DNA. Here are a few tips. One, wear sunscreen protect your skin from harmful UV rays by using broad spectrum sunscreen. Two, dot, avoid smoking and limit alcohol. These habits introduce toxic chemicals into your body that can damage DNA. Three, dot, eat a balanced diet focus on foods rich in antioxidants, like fruits and vegetables, which can help neutralize harmful free radicals. Four, dot, stay active regular exercise helps maintain overall health, reducing the risk of diseases that can lead to DNA damage. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.